Welcome back to the Let's Play of Pokemon Pearl, Part 4. Here we have the Tortwig's nickname thing still open, because pretty much I recorded, stopped, saved, and then started recording straight away. So, you can very clearly see me. Hi there! Anyway, what are we going to name our Tortwig? I think I'm going to name him the latter half of my channel because we have me named Storm so I think I'm going to name him Wrench despite him not being a steel type or not looking like a wrench but hey whatever a lot of people have weird nicknames for their Pokemon and this is Tartwig's weird nickname <laughs> anyway. hmm okay I see and you're happy with that nickname your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake. I heard you bowed very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Well, way to be fairly dark about that there, Dawn. Jeez. Oh, I just can't say it. <coughs> uh, no, that was actually me clearing my throat. Oh, it's quite dry. Uh, let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Of course! I love the Pokedex. It's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Good answer. Storm obtained the Pokedex. Why did I read that? <laughs> oh, God. It's like I'm turning into Ron Burgundy or something. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It would automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Storm. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Uh, I'm just gonna fix the camera up a little bit. There, that'll work. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. And that means there are... Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking outside, but I don't know, they're probably shouting at the clouds again or something. But anyway, shouting at the. Oh god, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, that means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Storm, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was a Piplup. If you would have chosen a Piplup at the lake, we'd have had the same Pokemon right now, which. Is a kind of lie because she always picks the one that you're strong against. You know, I, I can't remember. Do you actually battle Dawn in this game? I, uh, it's been too long since I played it, so I can't remember. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you. That's all. Yes. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Storm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Seems I had a stream going at the same time there. <laughs> uh, sorry, Zephyr Sonic, for as said in your stream, I have to mute you. Sorry. Off I go on my big adventure. What awaits me in my... Oh. Okay, Storm. <laughs> well, she didn't run ahead like I expected. Okay, Storm, I lacked as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. In a way, I kind of like that the way she sh that she does show you around the town, because just in case for new players who don't know what certain places are, it's like rather than the the first games where you were just expected to know. But uh, yeah, this building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. 
you can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Storm, since you're a novice trainer and you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise, don't let it bother you though. Oh, that's right. Storm, don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, b before you go, eat up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Bye. Hmm, can we bite Pokemons yet? I'm gonna go check. Whoa, what the <laughs> what's with this music? Awesome. Um, I recommend buying... Th nine Pokeballs. Even though if you, you do get a free Pokeball, if you buy ten, uh, it's not worth it because the premium ball is... It's not worth it. It's better to buy stock up on potions just in case. So, nine Pokeballs, four potions. It's good. It's a good deal. Yeah. Right, better head home. Yay, I love jumping over things. Oh, I wish there was an active jump button in this game. <laughs> I'd be just spamming it everywhere, because I love jumping in games. It's just one of those things that, even if it's a super serious game, I'll just jump everywhere because I have the ability to. Uh, Alright. Welcome home, Storm. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take quest rest, dear. You pretty much don't need to go to the Pokemon Center, really. Which <laughs> I kind of forgot to do. Well, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Storm, I've got something that you'll find useful. I got the journal. Uh, the journal isn't quite as useful as it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, God. <laughs> uh, even the tiniest movement can knock this thing out of. There we go. The journal. The journal isn't quite so useful. It's nifty, but. Uh, <laughs> nifty. It's alright, but. There's nothing essential. It's a journal that keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just joking, there. Yup, Storm. I'll be alright by myself. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, <laughs> it makes your mother happy, too. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it was the way she phrased that. My brain does things. But, uh, <laughs> but come back sometimes. I'd like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Oh. And Barry's one her. Excuse me, is my little Barry here? Oh? No, he's not. Oh. Then he must have left already. What did it do? That boy showed you about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted to give him this. Now our Storm will deliver it to him. Won't you, Storm? Oh, really? You'd do that for me? Storm, please take this to Barry for me. Yay, I got a mysterious parcel. Bye-bye, Storm. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'd probably go straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Barry. Alright. And now our adventure has officially begun with my Pokemon at my site. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pokemon of the <laughs> Pokemon Pearl Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching, which I probably said already again with bad brain. What are you going to do? But uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Oh, I'll see you next. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>